squash veggies. Chop veggies. Probably not with one hand. Boil water. Blanch. 15, 30 seconds, something like that, till they turn real green and pretty. They're probably going to do that in a second. Strain and dump into an ice bath. Eh. They should be like bright green, a little, have some give, but also have some snap when you chew them. Cut up into quarters, cutting the tops off. I'm not going to show this because I'm taking video with one hand and you don't want to cut it with one hand. Save the tops. You can make a syrup with them later. Now it's time to chop up some garlic for our vinaigrette. Chop, 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 chop them up. Chop the garlic up. Don't, don't put the, these, the ends, the, you don't want, you don't want this. Heat up some oil. This is hot. Throw your garlic in. Keep it moving. Turn your shit on low so it doesn't over... It doesn't burn. Juice of lime. Or a lemon. You could do a lemon. That's okay. Wh whatever. Just, just do the whole thing. I'm gonna do the whole thing. Vinaigrette. Here's a little spicy brown mustard. You can use Dijon. You could even use yellow mustard if you want. There's that there's that lime juice. It wasn't much. Oh, there's more in there. Look at there we go. Still wasn't much, but pinch of salt. Crack of pepper, or three. A little apple cider vinegar. Just a splash. Full disclosure, I kind of burnt the garlic a little bit. Not too bad, not beyond uh, usefulness, but I just burnt it a little bit. If you have a immersion blender like this guy, you can do this. For a vinaigrette, you want about one part acid that can also be like the lime juice we used as well as any vinegar you want, to about three parts oil. Mix it up until it's nice and emulsified, hopefully. Slice some radishes. Pepperoncinis. I love these little guys. Chop them up. Look at this. That's probably enough. Lettuce time. You can tear them up or you can chop them up. However you want to do it. It's fine. Just so they're not whole leaves. So they're not huge. Strawberry time. That's probably good. Throw some pepperoncinis in there. That's probably good. Throw in some radishes. That's definitely good. Throw in your aspergas. Hey, look at that. That looks tasty, doesn't it? Great. Throw in some more salt. It's for flavor. Maybe a little cracked pepper. Also for flavor. Toss it around. Vinaigrette time!
I like to pour it around the side of the bowl. That way you're not just drowning your salad in, in, in dressing. Don't drown your salad in dressing. Toss it around till it's nice and glistening. Look at that. Now put it in a fucking bowl. Look at that. Make sure you get to the bottom of that because that's where all your goodies are going to fall. See? Look. Top with cheese. I, I just bought this from the farmer's market. It's kind of like a hard, uh, almost like aged cheddar situation. I'm just going to grate some of that shit on top. Hemp seeds, just for some added protein and omega-3s. It's finished. Yum.